Can I change the direction just slightly here? Because I, I know we're coming up uh, on time, but I wanted to talk about the yep. uh, AEW uh, video game cool. that yeah. uh, that is coming out. Now, just to give you my background, so going all the way back to the Atari 2600, I have probably... <laughs> lived uh, i've i've always had a console in my life probably since i was like 8 or 9 years old so talking about and i'm looking at i'm looking at my ps5 right now it's 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 uh, eyeballing me cuz i haven't i haven't really been able to turn it on but um so i think you know when it comes to wrestling games there are some really really classic wrestling games yeah. And uh, the the one that a lot of people bring up is uh, No Mercy, which was a sort of a, uh, a a takeoff of the NWO versus WCW game, and then there was a sequel to that game. Um, and so I think you know people continue to 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 bring back the idea of you know if if we just had games get closer to what No No Mercy was, I don't know what the AEW game is is going to be as far as like a grappling system or whatever. But uh, I guess the question is like. When you were putting together, or when you know, I'm sure you have some influence in this game. Like, what what mm-hmm. was the idea as far as the type of wrestling game that you wanted to get created for the AEW brand? Yeah, so I'm, I'm but one of the masses that uh, among among the masses that have cried. Have, have there's been an outcry for a No Mercy style of game for quite some time, about 20 years, believe it or not. And um, you know, there hasn't been any sort of wrestling game that has captured that magic and uh i know of a lot of wrestlers wrestling fans even guys that are just video game fans but don't even watch wrestling anymore but they play those games still and generally speaking you know we have the epitome of what a wrestling simulator can be which is you know the sort of the 2k style and that's what uh, wwe is featuring and I, i always felt that no mercy was sort of a larger, larger than life version of what wrestling is, but still, when you would perform the movements, you know the the wrestling moves and the way you, the guys would run the ropes, the way the guys would bump, the way the guys would sell, that actually always felt more real to me than what a wrestling simulator looked like, um, and that was always sort of my my favorite engine and style. Do I think it works a hundred percent in the year two thousand and twenty? No, I think. You know, nowadays people probably want something that's a little faster, but they want something that feels kind of similar to that experience. And they want something that's easy to pick up and play. And even though controllers nowadays, you know, as you know, um, nothing is like the N64 controller. There's nothing that's even close. Um, But all of the sort of, it's close enough where you can create a, a control schematic that will feel a lot like the no mercy style. And now sort of the struggle is that the difference between today's wrestling and the wrestling of our yesteryear is that things are more complex and some guys have a move set that you can't even, you don't have enough buttons to map to, (laughs) you know what I mean? So that's the biggest the biggest concern and the biggest challenge is like for the guys, like for example, like Ray Phoenix, how he, he, he comes up with something new every week. You know what I mean? Like what's this guy's move set going to be? Cause you know, we could have a thousand buttons on a controller and you, we wouldn't have enough. So, um, how do you, how do you map a move set and, and buttons to lay out on a controller that's, easy to pick up, easy to execute. And when you're playing, you still feel like Ray Phoenix. That's, that's sort of the biggest challenge because in the year 2020, wrestling is a lot different than what it was like 20 years ago. So, um, I wanted to feel like no mercy. I wanted to move like no mercy control, like no mercy. But the reality of the situation is a lot of the moves that guys are performing in today's world are, weren't even included in the game back in the day. So having to animate these new maneuvers, having to go over like sort of new physics and the, the way that guys go about performing moves, um, that's sort of the new challenge is like making that old reliable engine that people you know still beloved to this day, make it work and make it seem fluid and non glitchy, <laughs> which is sort of the rough, which is the rough part because a lot of the stuff is very. Yeah, there's there's a lot of complex stuff that happens in today's pro wrestling. So it's like, how do you how do you make that drive? 
Um, that's, that's the biggest challenge. The ideas are all there, but I mean, it's all, it all sounds good on paper. It's just the execution of it right now. I can't imagine a, a stadium stampede match in, in a video game either. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Uh, what all was, that what type was, of stuff. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we've considered it all. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.